the year 2010, uh, a new constitution was born. I would say that was the highest moment uh, in our history as a, as, a, as a party. The low moment was uh, 2007, when our uh, victory was stolen. Uh, we, uh, Kenya knows that. Uh, but we moved past it. Uh, in 2010, we had a new constitution. But then, uh, unfortunately, that new constitution has not been fully implemented. Another um, low point was 2013, when again we were cheated again uh, through the uh, electoral process. Do you regret the fallout of the Pentagon? Pentagon was actually just a structure we created after the nomination at Kasarani. It was only meant for the campaign of the 2007. It was not really an official organ of the party. There's been allegations that people are buying tickets to vie for ODM. I, I, I don't know who's buying tickets. I don't think the process of nomination has started yet. So whoever is doing whatever they're doing are engaging in an exercise in fertility. Has it ever happened previously? No, it's not happened. It's not happened. But um, uh, we've said that in, we have categorized the country, we have zoned it, and we are going to use different methods in nominations. In some places, we are going to use the IBC as now allowed by the new law. Uh, to do so. So we have assured our members that the process is going to be very free, open, transparent and fair. You've been seen to be one person who champions for democracy, but at the same time you supported the bill that essentially stops party hopping. Isn't that ironical? Not ironical. If you want to change parties, you're given a, a, a time within which to do so. <coughs> but it reaches a stage beyond which you are now not allowed to hope. But that does not stop you from hoping after the elections. This is very normal and I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, critics have said that this is a ploy to stop people from moving in the event that there are shambolic primaries and that has happened before. What are you going to do to ensure that the nominations are free and fair? No, I'm just saying that um, you have to uh, make your choice. You must choose a party you want to, to be in. And uh, if you think that party is not going to do free and fair nominations, then go to the party you think is going to do free and fair nominations, full stop. So once you've made your bed, you, must, you need to lie on it. But, but I want you to be say that this was not an idea that came from uh, CORD. This was a jubilee agenda. And, and, and we just supported it because uh, they said it was going to be a deal breaker. Since the Jubilee, they are coming together and they fear that there will be a fallout uh, within the Jubilee. So we're asking the Jubilee members who think they're not going to get fair treatment in Jubilee to come to court. We will be able to uh, accommodate them. And will you have free primaries in court? Certainly. In court. What do you make of the Jubilee merger? These are not something new. The, this is, some, is, is something that has happened before. Some of these people don't believe in political parties. They form vehicles for purposes of elections. So I'm sure that this whole Jubilee Alliance is just an alliance for these elections coming next year. It will not be a party after this. The court has been seen to question the expenditure as we come to an end of the Jubilee party launch, especially with the vehicles and the new building. But we've also seen court doing the same thing with having buses from Mombasa. We have hiring buses. We have not bought buses. And we've just branded them. What Jubilee has been doing, basically, is using public funds. They're saying they bought vehicles. They are branding them. Some of them are basically GK vehicles, which are now converting to private use. Uh, they have bought uh, higher buildings very expensively. So we are seeing uh, an, 
extravaganza, you know, use of a lot of money, which you know is public funds. And we are questioning the source of this money. Uh, and, and, and our guess is as good as yours, that this is probably the Eurobond, the NYS money, and all the other money which have been stolen all over the, uh, the place. This is what Jubilee is doing. But is God willing to declare their source of income? Our sources are, are known. He is not willing to declare. Uh, our books are audited uh, on a regular basis. We have uh, published accounts uh, which the auditor has audited. Uh, the man, our source of money is known. I see Jubilee saying that this is from the political parties fund. I say that is hogwash. They have refused to give us the money that is due to us under the Political Parties Act. It said that 0.3% of the revenue shall go to political parties. You have not even been getting 0.01% which as political parties. There are only four parliamentary political parties. That is ODM, number one, number two is TNA, number three is ULP, number four is WIPA, Democratic Party. We have never been getting what is our due, and we have gone to court actually this week challenging the government to give us the money. So where have they got the money they're saying they're using? It is not definitely from the political parties fund, because most of us are actually just limping financially.